Frontier. That's what it's called, right? It's beautiful, endless. Feel the warmth of the sun millions of kilometers away on my skin without any atmosphere to stand between us. The upside is it's a truly amazing feeling. The downside is I'm truly about to die. Who would have guessed I'd die floating alone in space? You know, I mean, until now, I'd never been any higher up than the top floor of my apartment building, and I only went up there once. My mistake. It all started yesterday. Ordinary day, like, like any other. It is un until I got hit on the head. Ouch! Jeez! That was a three-star impact, Wally. Uh, this one needs some work. Three stars? You sure, Ray? R&D insists that this one be a one-star hot hat. One and a half tops. That's some quality hot hats you're testing. You want to trade spots and see for yourself? Three stars. Didn't notice any birds flying around my head, though. Uh, that's something. All right. This one's next. It's a new material R&D wants to try. It says here it's based mostly on... Recycle banana peels and use juice boxes. Saved by the bell, huh? Oh, see you tomorrow. Uh, Ray? I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you actually live all the way to the left. Weird, huh? Hard hat tested. No experience required. It seemed like such a good idea at the time. This is Gamma 3. We've encountered storm systems too large to go around without delaying landing time. Uh, please advise. Gamma 3? Sean, you told me your name was Jimmy. Somehow I always forget how much jumping is required to get to and from work. Gamma 3 calling base. Please respond. Base, storm now intensifying beyond safety thresholds. Uh, unusually intense lightning activity observed. Attempting to abort. Uh, emergency support requested. Wow! Plane made out of paper can't take the heat, huh? Or even a little rain? I bet those eggheads who thought up a paper airplane was a great idea, because it wouldn't be detected by enemy radar. I'm feeling pretty smart right now. Tell me you didn't get him to redesign our parachutes, too! Mayday. Oh, Mayday! The lightning now at level 5 alert. The Omega level package is in danger. Repeat, the Omega level package... Son, I appreciate your concern, but my package is...
What the? Where am I? What's this spaghetti arm doing sticking out of my head? Okay, stay calm, Ray. Last thing I remember was leaving work and jumping a lot. And then getting it on the head. Of course! Uh, the hand growing out of my head and this whole crazy world is all a dream. Hey, a bottle. Nice work, me. If I know my subconscious, this bottle will have something inside it to help me get off this island. High five me, Ray. High five me, Ray. I give the best high five to Ray. High five me instead. Ray, you may think you know high fives, but you haven't experienced a high five until you find Volley, I promise. Why not, right? Whoa, this arm is awesome! <laughs> yeah! Oh, I'm almost sorry, I'll have to wake up from this. High five me, Ray! My head is flooded with elephant juice, and inside are a bunch of gears that aren't moving. Which probably means I'm knocked out, and I need to drain the water from my brain. Got it. Help! Help! I can't hold my breath forever! Oh, and there's a creature swimming around in my head. Not sure what to make of that one, honestly. Uh, can you uh, hear me, little guy? Help! Hey, a sticker of a tap. I wonder if it's scratch and sniff. It is. And it smells like a sticker. Neat. A pink elephant pouring water through a hole in my head. Hm, I didn't bring that. I saved you, crazy alien creature thing. Finally dry at last! But the controls don't work! I need power! If only there was a way to get that heart working again! Yoo-hoo! Heart! Come here, heart! Heart! Come here, girl! I miss you! Weird. My girlfriend lives in Robot Me's heart, and she's calling for a dog named Heart. Dreams are crazy. Oh well, at least I'm not back in high school and also naked in this one. Again. Good girl.
Ahoy, matey! Greetings! I be Redbeard the Scary. I'll have you know that back in my day, I was the most feared pirate on all the seven seas. Bad news, buddy. You're just a figment of my imagination. And this is all a dream. You? Hi. It occurs to me that in real life, skeletons don't talk. Will you do an old sea dog a favor and dream me back to life again? Well, I, I kind of need to lead this dog back to my girlfriend. You've got an arm made of bone, so... I hear you, landlubber. Well, I'd be happy to lend a hand. Oh, <laughs> Oh, he just realized how well Lend a Hand worked back there. That wasn't even on purpose. What a good girl. Who's a good girl? It's you, Heart. You're the best girl. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm so happy. I love you, Heart. I always knew Eileen was the woman of my dreams. But it's nice to have it confirmed. All the pieces are in place. I was just about to leave. But now I think I'll stay after all. Yes, I'll be able to stay here indefinitely. As long as the host survives. Wait, 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 what? Sir, there's been an incident. An incident? Uh, a crash, sir. And the subject is missing. Why are you coming to me for instructions? Obviously, I'm going to tell you to find it. It's the most powerful weapon in the universe. Spaghetti! Sp spaghetti in my, my head! You think? <laughs> wow! What a crazy dream! Oh, good thing dreams are stupid and don't mean anything! You're awake! Perfect. That'll be a lot easier than carrying you out. Huh? What will be easier than carrying me out? This. Get out! What? Your insurance doesn't cover head injuries, mister. Get out! Head injury? What? What happened to my head? Hey, hey, quit shoving! Oh, will you just tell me what happened to my head? Hey, 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 easy on the buns! Ah, this bandage is all kinds of itchy. I should just tell it to him straight. Oh, this can't be happening. Ouch! <laughs> Careful! I will bet you. I'm not doing this. So shiny. Become a so chef, they said. Shiny. I can't do it without it. Holy crap! What the hell? Okay, okay. I'm hallucinating. Arms don't grow out of heads. I just gotta get home and sleep this off. It, it's all a hallucination, that, that's all. It's uh, just a hallucination that lets me read. Hey, listen, do me a favor. I kinda didn't think this through. Obviously. And I left the handbrake on in the car. Could you disengage it for me? Uh, actually, maybe you can do me a favor instead. I'm looking for a cab ride home, and... I got my own problems here. Problems I do not want to talk about. 
Listen, thanks for nothing. I'm just gonna wait here till somebody else comes and disengages my car. Peace! Maybe... Uh, maybe I can use my hallucination brain arm to read his mind and find out what his problem is. I, I don't know. It is over. Barbara, if only you hadn't left me for that mafia done with the mad nutty smile. If only my own smile had that sparkle that drives you wild. If only I could take back years of poor dental hygiene. If only I could have you back. I gotta find a way to help this dude get his lady friend back. Chicken. Can't stop this dance train. What if I do? Day. Some might say that murdering a man to win a dance competition is sociopathic. But is it really sociopathic to only see people as obstacles to be overcome by any means possible? Huh, wait, maybe it is. Maybe that's actually the textbook symptom of sociopathy. Oh well, too late now. Keep it up, Barbara. We'll win this competition for sure. Especially since my biggest challenger had an unfortunate accident. What? Huh? What was that? Sorry, I was kind of lost in your teeth there. I just love your smile, Don. Uh, Don's my position, not my na uh, You know what, uh, Don's fine. Honey, I don't care what you're called, as long as you keep showing me those sparkly teeth. Some might say that mo I am an adult human, and my major criteria in selecting a mate is how shiny their teeth are. I may have made some bad decisions somewhere. However, on the other hand, Ooh, shiny teeth. Ed, where are you? We've been practicing for weeks, and you promised you wouldn't stand me up. Don't do this to me, Eddie. Poor Bitey, all alone and lost in the sewer. Nobody to tuck him in at night. Nobody to give him his belly rubs and his teeth scratches. Bitey's such a gentle soul. He needs me to take care of him. I can't wait to eat all this chicken myself. Unless my good friend Chicken. Chicken! I'm nature's greatest predator, buddy, and I'm tired of chicken. I got a taste for special treats, and I ain't coming out for anything except human limbs, baby. Delicious human limbs. So long and crunchy. So full of valuable vitamins and minerals. Mm. Can't wait to eat all this chicken myself. Unless my good friend Bitey comes and eats it first. Do I think 
I hate to see him hurt, but it had to be done, right? It had to be done. Breakups suck, but I still care for him. I just wish everything didn't have to be so sucky. I hate to see him hurt, but it had I hate to see This can't be real, can it? I thought we'd be together forever! Forever! Oh, I can't believe our relationship is over! Oh, what a kind and noble heart here breaks. Oh, what a... Mario, why, as soon as little Mario could walk, he'd be over every day to say hi to Beatrice. And he, and he was always so excited to see him. He'd bark and bark and bark. Just, just endless frantic barking from Beatrice. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm afraid I don't have any... Bye. I never forget a smell. Those are the jerks that tortured me every day when I was a puppy. Ah, they tied firecrackers to my tail. The darn it. I'd eat them alive if only I had my teeth. I need teeth, darn it. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Rachel's gonna kill me if I don't make it to the disco competition on time. Only she won't, because I'll already be dead. Because these guys are gonna kill me real soon. This is it, Ed. You're going to be dead soon, and you never went skydiving. You never ate caviar, and you never beat the Silver Surfer game for the NES. You're gonna die with regrets, Edo. Oh, if only I'd spent more time learning how to escape from trunks instead of learning the enemy attack patterns in the Silver Surfer for the NES. Although, honestly, I'm glad I spent so much time playing Silver Surfer for the NES. That game was tight. Hey, what's the big idea? Get any closer and I'll get my brother to beat you up. Understand? And I first laid eyes on you. Good to be in a game. Remember that? Oh, of course you wouldn't. You, you were just a few months old at the time. Their teeth are. And It's good to be the big brother. Typical. I have to do the hard labor while my big brother stands around and smokes. Hooray! You got born ten seconds earlier. That definitely means you have to never work a day in your life. Oh yes, absolutely. I deserve to be the guy mixing the concrete. Heck, if I didn't want to do that, I would have pushed my way to the front line 30 years ago, right? It's good to be the boys were always so nice. So nice to me. Hmm, wrong sticker. Mario, you remember that? Oh, of course you wouldn't. You, you were just a few months old at the time. Oh, you boys were always so nice. Ah, 
the ingredient parfait. This meal, it is a perfection. Perfection! You can really taste this sorrow. Nobody to go. It's a new piece de resistance! So I am lying in the gutter of this restaurant and its swine patrons. I can nevertheless show them the stars! Nobody talk a minute. Chicken myself! Mighty! You came back! Come on, let me hug you for a bit. Laura and the kids will be ecstatic to see you again. They may show it by screaming at us and running away, but that's just their way. Beatrice? Is that... Beatrice? Where did you get those teeth? Good doggy. Good doggy. <laughs> Carry me, Luigi. Carry me at that one faster, Luigi. Nice. And it's not too late for the competition. How can I ever say thanks? Well, uh, I can't. Yes? Aw, oh, man, I really want to talk about this, but I'm late. Ed, you made it! Where were you? Locked in a trunk, but this stranger wandered in and helped me out. Oh, it's been a good day for that, I think. Let's dance. An amazing set! First place goes to... Rachel and Ed! For their routine, Rachel's Education in Dance! This is an outrage! I paid good money to ensure my victory! Ugh, I'm so angry, I could swallow my teeth! I could literally swallow my teeth! I'll save you, Don! I'll save you, Don's teeth! Don's... actually kind of gross. And really old. And I've got nothing in common with him. He's lost that sparkle somehow. My mouth feels lighter. Like there's, there's fewer teeth in it somehow. Can't stop this dance train. Ed, buddy, it's been a long, strange day. But you're ending it in a crazy dance scene. So I think things worked out pretty okay. It's time to shake my bod and chew gum. And actually, I'd much prefer to shake my bod than chew gum. So this is working out well. These teeth are so sparkly. They feel good. They feel right. What am I doing here? I need to go show Barbara! Barbara! I'm back! And I got a mouthful to say to you! Bernie? Is that you? You're so... sparkly. Oh, Bernie. Where did we go wrong? We didn't, Barbara. Just forget it. Everything up to now is non-canon. Canonicity starts right now. Hey, get home, Bernie. Thanks for reminding me what's really important. Love. Sparkly teeth. Finally, I'm just a few jumps away from home where I can put all these hallucinatory spaghetti arms and oddly accurate mind reading behind me. Aline, I'm home. I've had the craziest day, honey. 
Uh, check it out. Think of a number between negative gazillion and infinity plus three. Bet you 50 bucks I can read your mind. I know it looks weird, uh, but There's it... no arm sticking out of your head. Ray, are you going nuts on me? Are you dropping insanity balls on the floor? No, I... Oh, I don't think so. You really can't see it? Sweetie, why don't you go see my shrink? Dr. Egglesworth helped me a lot. I'm not afraid of grapes anymore, see? Ah, oh, jeez. Maybe I am crazy. I guess it wouldn't hurt to see Dr. Egglesworth. I believe his office is over here, uh, to the right. Him. He's the one who took your secret thingamabob. I know because he has a stupid haircut. I don't forget a haircut that dumb. Agent 23 reporting in. We may have a positive on our target. Instructions. Get him. Is this real? Am I being chased by these jerks, or am I really just going totally nuts right now? Get when I catch Ray, I'm gonna get a free swim for me and a guest. In I saw a haircut that dumb 15 years ago, and it made me the man I am today. Jeez, that was an incredibly dumb haircut. Burrito. When I catch Ray, I'm gonna get a free swim for me and a guest in the company swimming pool. A savings of over $4.95. I know, it's just so sad. And it was... Whoa. Him too. I mean, he was 140 years old. But we all kind of assumed he'd live forever at the... Oh, Dr. Ecclesworth. If only you hadn't taken the death of your father so hard and fallen into deep depression. I'm glad you're seeing Dr. Brom. I'm also glad I'm paid by the hour. Take as long as you need, Dr. Ecclesworth. Possibly imaginary suckers. Yes. Oh, no. I would. Ah. Man, I really should have looked longer for a part-time job. Man, I really should have looked longer for a part-time job. This is embarrassing. As a gentleman who loves digging six-foot deep holes, this is basically the perfect job for me. Except for the constant and omnipresent threat of a spooky hunting. Dagnabbit! I'm dead now! Well, that's an inconvenience for me. 
but it's not going to shut down my practice. There's still tons of people out there who need lobotomies. Stay away from me with your lobotomies, man. Also, you're not as scary as I was expecting. I'm not scary. I'm a lobotomist. And it's the only way to cure what ails you, Sonny. A few cuts, a few slips, and you won't have a care in the world. And I have no... Hey, did you keep depressed? The paper bear When has talking about your issues ever solved anything? Action speaks louder than words, and that action is cutting out brain parts! As a gentleman who loves digging six foot. <sighs> Catching Ray means I get a free slice of pizza. If I purchase a slice of equal or greater value at the company cafeteria. Maybe photos. Is snappily dressed. They're probably pretty smart. Maybe. Maybe I should mind read them. <laughs> Whoa! I should have not stayed up all night last night eating burritos. And yet I have no regrets about staying up all night eating burritos. If I catch this man. Nothing about him. Oh man! What happens if I put this sticker on an agent? <laughs> Sweet! This sticker makes him sleepy. Oh, I probably don't have too long until they wake up. Oh, this is heavy. I've got to get to that psychiatrist's stack. Uh, excuse me, the uh, doctor? Um, doctors? Dr. Brom, I can't go back to work. I just can't. Dad hated how I practiced my profession, and now that he's gone, we'll never reconcile. There's no closure left for me. I'll never be able to talk to him again. Mm-hmm. And how does that make you feel? Sad, I guess. Mm-hmm. And how does that make you feel? The sadness? No, oh, um, like, not happy? Like, I have emotions that are making me depressed. Mm-hmm. And how does that make you feel? Wait, how does that make you feel? Fine, thank you, but we're here to discuss you. Dang, I gotta help Dr. Ecclesworth so that he can help me. I gotta cure his depression stack. Wow, did work get a lot easier when I realized I could ask. And how does that make you feel? To every question! If only I could talk to my dad one more time. Get him to understand why I do what I do. I just need one last chat with him. Man, I don't need a psychiatrist. I need a medium. Or at least a necromancer. Wait, necromancers don't really exist, do they? No, uh, I think they're all frauds. Okay, medium it is. Wow, did for me. Yes, 
I have made contact with the spirit of your dear departed wife. I haven't departed anywhere. I can't move in the afterlife because my husband cut off my legs. Jada! Is she here? Can you ask her if she's mad that I cut off her legs? She's saying that she is, um, slight some frustration. I'm glad you're here. That's not a thing. That's what likes the pizza. Through my favorite. I never After I apologize for cutting off her legs, I should ask her if she knows where I put my rabbit. I haven't seen him for weeks, and rabbits don't just disappear. Oh, wait, no. I made him disappear and then couldn't get him back. Okay, yeah, note to self. Stop by pet store on the way home. Ah, man, I, I can't walk into the light or anywhere else for that matter. Either someone needs to find me some legs, or someone needs to kill a wheelchair and send its ghost over my way. I can't walk into... Don't I have how amazing it is that ghosts really do exist. And how incredible that they all want to talk with my paying customers. At least this ghost knows a language. I'm so tired of being bothered by cavemen ghosts from thousands of years ago. Balloons for sale! Balloons for sale! I've taken some of our planet's finite helium supply and put it inside a leaky, disposable balloon. You should buy it! I like shapes and colors, especially when those shapes are inflated. Sometimes I wonder if this is really what I was put on this earth to do. Sometimes I get sad. Take in some of our planet's finite helium supply and put it inside a leaky... Ah, oh, Jays, the greatest show on earth. As long as you don't let yourself feel empathetic for the little guy. Normally people say bully like it's a bad thing. But have they tried it? It rules! If my legs were longer, I wouldn't get punched. I could run away to freedom. I could follow my dreams of being in library school instead of this degrading show. <laughs> Punches make me feel good. All right, round 37. Whoever has the shortest legs gets punched. Again. Ready, Gigator? Ready, Colossus? Ready, Little Champ? What? No! No! One, two, three, go! Wait, no, wait, no! Oh! Ah! oh my gosh, are they... Hey, Jays! Jays! They're about to pull off the rally scene, trampoline, trampets, maneuver! Ladies and gentlemen, this trick is very difficult to pull off. Let's watch. A complete success and a very painful landing for Little Champ. Ha! Poetry in motion. That won't stick. <laughs> wow, I should have not stayed up all night last night eating burritos. And yet I have no regrets about staying up all night eating burritos. Mental Diary. If I get Ray, I get a five dollar bonus. Five whole dollars. Excuse me. Oh, yes, hello. Well, take a good look. Here I am, the bearded lady. Isn't that crazy? Doesn't that mess with your ideas of gender and beauty? I... I guess? Well, soak it up. 
because there's no reaper. Easiest job in the world. It's amazing what a little super glue, a shaved dog, and a lot of patience can do. Easiest job in the world. It's amazing what a little super glue, a shaved dog, and a lot of patience can do. Hmm. Long sticker. Burn, burn! Who has a cold heart now? Burn, burn, burn! Fire, burn! Jump, Sonny! You're leaving the crowds waiting! The show must go on! Dad, I'm scared! I told you! I'm afraid of heights! They're not heights once you hit the bottom! Jump, dang it! Dad, I don't want to fall to my death! Please stop hitting my hands! Next time... I'm not bringing... The inflatable hammer! Ah, oh, man, I knew I was going to die today. The fortune cookie was right. Also, that was an extremely creepy fortune cookie. I should have had a daughter instead. A daughter who isn't afraid of heights. And who is a scientist, and a rock star, and a clown. Also, she buys me things. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. I confess I cannot see the attraction to being fired out of a cannon, but I do see the attraction of being responsible for the safety of those who do choose this path. I like it when the cannon makes the fire come out and I'm inside the explosion. Oh, that was awesome! Uh, I think. Uh, that's gonna come out of my paycheck, I think. I confess I cannot see the. Well, it was worth a shot. If I let go, I'll die. Help me, please. And I'll die. Oh, this is a target for a cannon. Oh, great. Now I'm going to die and my dad is a balloon. That second fortune cookie I got was also right. I need to stop eating at Crazy Jack's crazy but insanely accurate fortune cookie restaurant. <laughs> the, uh, what are we aiming at? How come we're not hitting the usual wall? Right on target, right? <sighs> I've got- 
gotcha! Wow! This is an amazing trick! You invented this yourself? I kinda... You know, it's not so scary when we're both hanging here together. This is the best trick ever! This is perfect! You're perfect! We'll never do that old trampoline trick again! This blows it out of the water! I'm so happy! I love you, son! You know, that wasn't so bad. Heights aren't so scary if you're good at hitting targets. When I'm full of helium and floating, I feel free. As if a great weight has been lifted from my body. I feel my stomach drop as I lift up into the sky, free floating, and I feel alive. Hey, That won't stick. Hmm. Wrong sticker. Well, it was worth a shot. Easiest job in the world. <laughs> Dear Mental Diary. One more time, folks. The trampoline triplets maneuver! Put your backs into it, boys! Not a problem! Get ready to have your minds body slammed! Not again. Wait a second! Your legs are tinier than mine! You've been faking this for years, Gigator! Library school, here I come! Oh ho ho! Our wrestling slash bullying careers! Say, kid, there's an opening in the wrestling area. You ever give any thought to being paid to push other men around in a padded square with elastic walls? You know, if I could get on the radio, there'd be no way for the audience to know that the triplets aren't here anymore. Folks, the triplets just threw a bad guy wrestler into the moon and then punched him on the nose when he landed. I can't believe my eyes! You should, though. I like shapes and colors. Balloons for sale. Balloon. Oh, perfect. Legs out of nowhere. This will definitely be all I need in my eternal afterlife. Goodbye, sweetie. I loved you more than I love even magic itself. Which is too bad, because if I studied magic harder, you wouldn't have died. Okay, I'm glad that's done. So, handsome, how long do you think it'll be before you get back into dating? Oh, I don't know, a few... Minutes? Well, that'd be quite the trick. <laughs> It's against my professional code to flirt with patrons, but something about him is just magic. My wife wouldn't want me to grieve for too long, right? She'd probably think it was way cool if I kissed on somebody I just paid money to. I 
think that's what she would do for sure. It's against my... That make you fear. I've pulled back the veil between our world and the next one. What? Huh? Are there any spirits with which you would like to speak? Dad, I want to talk to my dad. He looks a little like me, only he's super old. Ghost of the skies, old dad, I command you here. What? Who called me? Dad, it's me. I... I... just wanted to talk to you. To make peace about how you love lobotomies, and I love treating people without cutting into their skulls. Son, I... I... I have a mind to lobotomize you right here! You've been losing this argument for years, and now even when I'm dead, you drag me back so you can get one last word in? Of all the selfish, self-interested, totally deserving of a lobotomy actions to do! A lot easier, wasn't it? Uh, this is totally nuts! I'm not even sure how this is happening! My rationalist, scientific worldview is crumbling! And it may not If there's a problem that can't be solved by physically modifying someone's brain, I haven't found it yet. I should have cut out his brain when I had the chance. Five amazing what a little Bill Helmut? Dang it, Dad, why do you have to be so mean all the time? It's your angry mouth that holds you back. I wish we could just talk without having to go through a mouth that wasn't so mad all the time. <laughs> and another thing, son. I I love you. Even though we have different approaches. We're both on the same team. We just don't want to see people be sad. You're doing good, son. And I'm proud of you. You know that, right? I do now, Dad. That's my cue. You'll be good, boy. Hooray! At last! An emotional breakthrough! Closure! Huh? What? What happened? What I miss? I talked to my dad! He's a ghost, and we talked, and we worked things out! I can go back to work now, thank you! <laughs> what? Ghosts? Oh, that's crazy talk! You're crazy! What? No, I'm not crazy! He was a vision from beyond the grave! I'm not crazy! Next! I... I guess that's me! Excellent, excellent! Uh, sit down here. And tell me all about how whatever your issue is makes you feel. Oh, well, I've, I've got this giant spaghetti arm that comes out of my head. And only I can see it. Oh, but it, but it lets me read people's minds. Telepathy, huh? <laughs> that definitely sounds crazy. Ooh, but before I give you my diagnosis, uh, there's one thing I'd like to try. Follow the pendulum. You are getting sleepy. You are about to tell me all your secrets. So, 